What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. It's the only place you can find a wave. It's the wave. It's the wave! With another video, and today we're going to discuss Fannie Willis shows up on the side of the road with her ex, Nathan Wade, after her daughter was arrested for a suspended license. So, you better go ahead and check out this video right here. And there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on with Fannie Willis. I mean, Donald Trump, Young Thug, now this. So we about to go and get into it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, stay updated on all videos we drop in this channel. So you won't miss a thing and you be the first one to get it. Like always, let's go ahead and get into it. A couple hours, probably. Mom, Dad, who, what's the one? Yeah, okay, okay. Nice to meet you. So, Corporal Clark, nice to meet you. What? So, um, apparently, oh. Apparently her license is suspended. Nice to meet you. Okay. For something. Doesn't tell us what for or why or where. Or that's something she's going to have to call DMV. Right. Probably what happened, she had a speeding ticket. Some kind of traffic infraction never went to court, didn't take care of it. Okay. Um, that's the best guess. So... She's gone over to Fayette County Jail, which is right in the Fayetteville Square. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 145 Johnson Avenue. Yeah. Normally, I would say a couple hours is the process. It just depends on how busy they are and like that, okay? Um, the driving on the suspended is uh, basically a traffic citation. She's got to have her fingerprints done and picture taken, and then she can make her bonds. And you pay it cash, use the bondsman, be 10%, whatever. Um, they've got a list of people over there, too, that... You can choose from and use whatever. So the vehicle's registered her, excuse me, registered to her. Um, I don't know if it was on a flock hit or if the officer observed some kind of traffic infraction. It wasn't me. I didn't make traffic stop. He's already gone and got her going. Okay. So whatever the case may be, when you run the, the tag, it obviously gives us the vehicle information and the registered owner. And it's already in the system that she's has the invalid license yet. So upon that, we just verify that it is. Is that person driving or stop the car first at that point? We don't have to know it's them. It's general assumption that the registered owner is the driver of the vehicle. Yeah. You know, if you stop it and it's not, okay, have a nice day. But uh, in this case, she was. Yeah. So, yeah. so this, are the keys to the car here? Yes. So yeah, everything's here. Yeah, oh, everything's in there. She has three numbers, I believe she gave. Was it your number? A JC? And a third name I didn't hear. She'll allow us to make She'll have to get three phone calls when she gets there. Yeah, once, once they get the process done, she can make a couple phone calls and call you guys and say, okay, I'm ready, this is how much it is, whatever. I want to say off the top of my head, I think driving on a suspended license is about 1200 bucks. Yeah. Somewhere right in that area. Every municipality is different, you know, give or take a little bit, but somewhere around there. So, um, you're welcome. Any other questions? Scandal is rocking President Trump's case in Georgia. The Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney, Fannie Willis, has been accused of appointing her lover as a special prosecutor in the case against Donald Trump. D.A. Fannie Willis is responsible for taking Trump's mugshot. Also allegedly financially benefited from hiring her lover, Nathan Wade on that Trump case. This is according to a motion that was just filed by Wade, the co-defendant. Now, who is this romantic partner who Fannie Willis hired? He was just a private attorney who's never even tried a felony case. Even the Times says he has, quote, limited experience trying high-profile cases. But get this. Fannie's alleged lover has been paid nearly a million dollars in legal fees already. Who authorized the payments? Well, that would be Fannie. Where'd she get the money? Oh, that's your money. Came from the taxpayers. They've allegedly gone on luxury vacations to Napa Valley, even taking Caribbean cruises. And Fannie isn't even denying that she's hired a guy she's sleeping with to prosecute Trump. Uh, ended, um, you left it in August of 2023. That sound right? That's the hard conversation. That's not the... Uh... We've covered this. Next question. And you characterize it as a tough conversation, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to get into the conversation per we se. should. Well, if he doesn't want to, we won't go there. So, Mr. Sado, next question. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to say no when you've got that opportunity. But... All I'm going to say is, was it pre-indictment? 
in this case. So we know the timeline that the indictment was delivered. Okay. Well, but, actually, and, and, and so that we're clear, the okay. physical relationship ended pre-indictment. And is that when you were talking about the tough conversation? But with, I, the, I'm not sure that the tough conversation didn't happen until after, but the physical relationship. So I'm sure if you ask Mr. Wade, because he's a male, he would say we ended June or July because physical contact ended then. Just in my mind, being a woman, it's over when you have that like hard conversation. That's, I just think women and men think differently. And I think the answer, Mr. Sado, to your question was she's not sure whether it was before or after the indictment. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure that that was her answer, but let's see if I can get specific. That is what I said. That's what I said. I'll let you. Next question, Mr. Sado. If you need to clarify. Want to say one more? One. The romantic relationship ended before the indictment was returned. Yes or no? To a man, yes. Well, to a man, yes. To you, no. She, she's explained this, Mr. Right. Sado. She's explained this. <laughs> And, did the, and the, did the forthcoming indictment have anything to do with that? Ooh. Or was it just a coincidence? Mr. Let's go on and have the conversation. I've just asked you whether or not it was a coincidence. It had absolutely nothing to do with this. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. And so there was tension always in our relationship, which is why I would give him his money back. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Is there anything else you would like to add to that? No. Sure. But I'm sure we'll talk about it further. No, we're not going to talk about it further. I all right, no back and forth, Mr. Sedow. Next question. Uh, all righty, all righty. So now we just watched the full video of uh, Fannie Willis going down and meeting with the police. Um, the guy said that he didn't stop her, but uh, his, another officer did and already took her on her way to jail. So just to read it back to you, Fannie Willis shows up on the side of the road with her ex, Nathan Wade, after her daughter was arrested for a suspended license. And it shows a body cam of Willis and Wade together, uh, a man who she claimed she was no longer in a relationship with on the body cam footage. Willis' pregnant daughter, uh, Kiana Willis, was arrested in Tyrone, Georgia for driving with a suspended license last week. Willis came under fire for her improper relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Willis claimed their relationship ended years ago. Now, the funny thing about this whole situation is um, she did, under oath, uh, said some things that, you know, this wasn't true or anything else, the case may be. Now showing uh, on a body cam that it is true. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not just friends. They're not just, uh, 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 you know, anything else that can just be very... Uh, how can I say it? Very respectful in a sense. Like, you know, they're just cool and stuff like that. Um, and it's crazy because Fanny, Fanny is catching so much heat behind this. And there's been other things that has been said that she was messing with the dude, uh, the dude Big Nut, um, that Young Thug and him was having a little situation or whatever when she was messing with him. And um, the fact that her daughter was on the phone with her when she had got in trouble and now that all this stuff is starting to heat up on her it's almost like she can't really catch a break and this is very weird and suspicious and um and fanny said that their relationship ended three years ago but you just pulled up with the man with you now i don't know why she just didn't, didn't come out and tell the truth you know what i'm saying why she's lying why she's lying under oath and it just really shows, like, there's some crooked people right here. You know what I'm saying? So, showing that Fanny just continues to lie, you know what I'm saying, continues just to uh, give false information, which she should have just came out and said what she said. Now, it said that her daughter had to suspend the license for a little, a little while now, which it's kind of funny. 
you know, you, you your mother's a, a famous person, you know, since far as what she does and your license is suspended. So just goes to show, man, there's a lot of corrupt people, a lot of people not telling the truth and a lot of people that's lying under oath. So I'm going to let y'all let, let me know what y'all think in the comment box about this whole situation, excuse me, about her daughter and being arrested on a suspended license because I remember she did do the dancing video with her and Shaq and whatever and to now to see what's going on and um, the disgrace of a toxic woman and just a, co a complete fraud that a lot of people feel like when it comes to Fannie Willis. And should she be arrested? I'm sorry. Should she be fired for the things that she do? And then lying on the oath, you can't get in trouble for that too. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay updated on all videos we drop on this channel so you won't miss a thing and you'll be the first one to get it. Let me know your thoughts. Holla. Wavy nigga in the fold. Catch me swimming with the whales. Pass the shark, snakes, and rash. You know I'm the one that set the tail. Fill the fishing with the gas. Don't tell me you cannot smell. Roll up baseball backs. Hit the wind, shoot in the air.